Do you buy antiques? That is the most single asked question in our malls for more than 20 years. And for us, the answer is simple. We do have dealers interested in buying your items. The Brass Armadillo, like many other antique malls, is made up of hundreds of individual antique dealers, and some of those are interested in buying items from you. But there are other options too. So let's take a few minutes and, and explore some of those options you should consider. So let's start with selling to an antiques dealer. The first thing that you're going to want to work on is getting an idea of the price that you're going to ask for your item. Now that can come from several different sources. Personal knowledge that you have yourself, or maybe you need to consult some outside sources such as eBay. So you go to eBay, you look up uh, how items are listed, what the price are listed at, and most importantly what items have sold that are like the item that you have. Just because someone offers it for sale on eBay for a certain price doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to get it. So eBay has a feature that says look up sold items only. You can also go to Craigslist. See what uh, like items of yours are selling for in your area. Doesn't mean that they've sold for that, but at least you get an idea of what it is that they're being offered for sale. Lastly, if you need more information, there's a website called iantique.com, which allows you to post a picture and various antique dealers from all over the country will give you an idea on the price of it and maybe some more information on how likely it is to sell um, it, during this time. Remember that many antique dealers are just resellers. They, they need to buy their product at a price and resell it at a higher price. So when they talk to you about price, remember that they've got to build in a profit. When you think about a price that you want to sell to an antique dealer, you're probably not going to get anywhere close to retail because that's the price that they want to sell it at. They have to be able to sell it at retail. The TV show Pawn Stars makes a good example of this. Many times when people come in to offer their items for sale, they get a lecture about, we have overhead, we have expenses, we can't buy it at the price we're selling it for. So generally, it's going to be at or below 50% of the retail price. So if you have an item that you think is worth $100, and might sell in our mall for $100. For one of our dealers to buy it, they're going to offer you below $50 for it or below 50% for it. You're going to make far more money if you try to sell it yourself. That has some complications too that we'll talk about in a minute. So exploring options such as Craigslist is something to consider because you can ask for more of a retail price. Now you're also going to have to do more of the legwork on this. You'll have to field the phone calls, you'll have to list the item for sale yourself, you'll need to uh, deal with people coming over to look at it, and then you need to be aware that they're probably going to make you an offer less than the amount that you have it listed for. So even though that you can get closer to retail on it, you do have some, some additional work to do at that. Another option that you have is to take it to an auction house or a sales center, a place that will will put the item up for sale for you, such as a consignment, and then they're going to charge you a, uh, a fee to do that. Sometimes that fee is rather high. It might be 10, 20 percent. Some places are even higher at 30 and 40 percent. It, it does mean generally that it's going to sell right away at some price. So just be aware that uh, that, that is uh, a quicker way to, to move an item, but still has uh, uh, fees associated with it. The last suggestion I have for you is to consider becoming a part-time antiques dealer yourself. Rent a booth at a place such as the Brass or Modillo and stock the booth with the items that you want to sell. Maybe you go out and acquire more items to sell and you found yourself a, a hobby or a pastime that can actually make you a little money. It, it is not easy work. It does require some time and effort and, and knowing what to do but we have dealers that have done it for years and love it. And they make money at their pastime. How many of your hobbies can actually make you money? So consider the options we've talked about. Let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to answer them for you. If you're interested in talking with any of our dealers 
on buying the items from you, go to the Brass Armadillo website, look for the buyer's link. It will get you in touch with one of the antique malls that we have and we will forward the information to somebody that is interested in buying the items from you. Thanks for your time.